Hello friends and welcome back for another episode of Indie Impressions. My name is Nick and today we're going to be checking out Pizza Wizard by developer Daniel McFarlane. This is a simple arcade game, one that I think is pretty fantastically silly. And just by the title you can probably tell we're in for something pretty magical and special today. I mean, by the virtue of wizardry, there will be magic involved. So the description reads... After many years of intense study, you have finally mastered the magical art of Pizza Mancy. By harnessing the raw elemental powers of cheese and dough, you can conjure and manipulate pizzas to perform amazing feats. Unfortunately, the forces of darkness are on a diet and they have come to destroy your tower. How long can you hold out against the salad chomping horde? So we'll be fighting dragons and orcs and bats and various other demons uh, with our Pizza Mancy powers and we'll be dragging lines to create. Uh, basically, a grenade that will explode into a pizza shower and destroy anything in our way. So this seems like pretty much the perfect game, right? So why don't we click the screen to start, and there it is. Drag from Wizard to create pizza trails. Probably the greatest tutorial line I've ever read. And when I first perform this feat of magic, then we will actually begin our quest. So, there is our line of pizza, and you'll see it creates a pretty magical explosion at the end. It's a, it's like a pizza torpedo where one slice turns into an entire pizza AoE effect, and really, could you ask for much more? Uh, so this game has fantastic music, is incrementally more difficult as you go, and you'll notice, of course, I am keeping my cursor on the screen here so you can see what exactly I'm supposed to be doing, uh, or what I am doing, even. And the main goal here, other than just to defend your tower, is to try and go for the highest score possible by getting big ol' combos. And in order to get combos, you want to try and drag lines in positions uh, that will actually knock into the enemies that are still flying towards you. So you actually have to sort of read ahead to see where they're going to end up and hopefully be able to predict that. And that dragon is no big deal. So it's got a, like a Space Invaders UFO, essentially, is what that yellow dragon is supposed to be. And things start out really easy. There's, you know, just an occasional orc or two along the ground. Occasional battle show up and a dragon in the sky. And then after a few moments, things get really, really, really chaotic. And you have to be at the very top of your Pizza Mancy game to be able to continue on. Now, I think if there's one major downfall to this game, it's just that there isn't enough content. I really actually enjoyed this simple premise and the fact that it's so silly. Uh, the execution of it is very well done. The uh, Pizza Mancy moves are very responsive, and I feel like I am actually uh, doing some serious damage with this. I mean, the sound effects go a long way in convincing me that this is an effective magical spell, and uh, also the amount of carnage that I can just see with all of these enemies flying in every direction is pretty convincing as well. Uh, but I would have really liked if we could have started smaller with a smaller scale invasion and worked our way up to this and perhaps done a little bit of like a Rogue Legacy or 10 million effect uh, where the game is slowly being sort of parceled out to you a little at a time and we don't necessarily go all in right away. I mean, look at the chaos here. I'm dead. My score is 1,021. My best combo is 8. And, well, I didn't actually do all that well on that one. I think I could have done much better. Highest combo of 50. Well, the orcs seem pretty happy with themselves. They go off into the distance. Anyway, I'll do another run of this while I continue on talking about what I was mentioning. Uh, so I think what really would have done a, a big favor to the game in terms of longevity, and I'm pretty sure this was probably made as a reasonably quick game, although I'm not sure uh, to what context it was. Uh, but, you know, if we had something like maybe we start out with a little tower, one stage at a time, work our way across like maybe a world map or something where we approach newer, uh, more difficult invasions, and we can augment our Pizza Mancer with better and better spells as we go, uh, I'm imagining things like having the pizzas split into three as you go, or, you know, various homing spells that take care of things in an automated way. Uh, that way we could actually branch out into some really wild, over-the-top levels of invasion. And not to say that what we have here isn't that, uh, but I feel slightly ill-equipped despite my lifelong pursuit of Pizza Mancy spells. You know, I feel like we should have uh, some better understanding of this skill by this point. Uh, if we have to fend off a battalion like this, which is, it's a little daunting, but at the same time, you know, for a simple game with a simple premise, it's a fun little addictive arcade game, and to be honest, it's really like, I couldn't ask for much more from it unless we were going for a bigger scope, and all of the ideas that I just proposed there were only basically off of that premise, that if we were going for something that maybe you would sell, like on the App Store for a dollar, uh, yeah, definitely go for that idea, because I would love to see more of this. And the premise of just being able to drag these lines, having it being uh, rather silly and irreverent, 
Uh, while also keeping a pretty nice retro style, uh, I don't know if this is probably like 4-bit uh, graphical aesthetic with a fantastic soundtrack, uh, this is definitely something that I could see getting somewhere in terms of actually getting some sales. So that is kind of the context that I'm analyzing things in, uh, and don't get the wrong idea and think that I'm saying that this is bad or anything, it's just uh, short-lived is all. I would have liked to have seen more, so it's that kind of uh, loving criticism that gen generally tends to push us forward into things, you know, it's, it's a great game, just want more. But, you know, they also say you should always leave the audience wanting more as well, so there is that too. And, uh, oh, they got me. I actually thought I was going to be able to fend that one off, but not the case. What did they say? We hate something. They hate wizards. Ah, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? So that's, uh, Pizza Wizard. It's it's a great game. You should probably play it. See if you can get a higher score than me. I mean, what was my other one? Uh, 1,050 or something like that? I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do better with a little bit of practice and trying to get a combo. And I guess that's kind of where I would have hoped that things went as well as uh, perhaps more emphasizing the chain combos. Because right now everything moves pretty quickly and you're trying to multitask a lot of the time. If the enemies in the sky maybe moved a bit slower... Uh, and maybe had a little bit further of a distance to travel since you can cast more than one spell at a time, which also I could agree would be a good incremental thing to work up. You know, your Pizza Mancer starts with one spell, then two, then three, and before you know it, you can cast Unlimited. Uh, but, you know, that kind of thing, letting the, uh, the enemies build up as a slow and steady horde would actually give the player a lot of incentive to try and multitask over a longer period of time. Uh, but since the spells tend to hit everything all at once, well, I guess that sort of makes it a little bit easier. So I'm not sure where exactly the balance lies, but there's some good promise here. And uh, I, I heard of this game a long time ago. I'm surprised it took me this long to actually get around to playing it, but I'm not disappointed. So there you go. If you want to go try some Pizza Wizard yourself, the link is going to be right in the description. You can feel free to go have a good time, play it as long as you want. See if you can get a magically high score. I imagine anything over 2,000 would probably be be pretty good uh, and I would also love to see some achievements too if you could maybe get to a certain level uh, maybe unlock some cosmetic stuff or something just something a little silly kind of thing like that just to keep you going on uh, but you know not every game has to aspire to that concept anyway that's gonna do it for another day guys thank you so much for enjoying this episode with me if you liked it consider leaving a like for me helps me out a whole bunch and continues to spread the word of more and more indie games to more people who haven't heard of them uh, so with that, I will head out. Hope to see you back again tomorrow. New episodes every single day. So I'll talk to you then, and I hope you have a fantastic night.